Hey, Just Bricks here with another video for you tonight. I'm going to be adding these minifigure accessories from a used lot or a couple used lots probably to my store. Um, some of these may already be in my store, just not in these colors or just haven't gone through and taken the time to list them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll probably time lapse for part of it and maybe come back if I see something interesting. So here we go. show real quick what I've been doing my time-lapse actually stopped working or maybe I just didn't hit the button right or something all I know is it didn't record and so I've been working a, a lot on this I'm gonna be doing some spears here you can see I got several different types here all right you got some with the, the rounded end a couple with the flat end so I'm going to go ahead and pull the flat end ones out first. Okay, and then some of these, I think this one here, yeah, this one's a flexible spear, not the hard plastic. So set that one off to the side because that's its own thing. Okay, and then this one is pretty beat up, so I'll throw that one off to the side. Okay, so I got the minifigure spear with a round end, add to my inventory, come down here, select the color, you're going to go with the pearl dark gray first, I'm going to be putting those in organizer 8, section 17, so OG17, quantity 4. Gonna hit the price guide. Those are 14 cents each used. So 0.14 and go. With these used pieces, I don't tend to worry about doing the uh, the my cost. Maybe I will in the future, but I, I didn't start doing it that way. And so I haven't really worried about it too much as I've been going through. I've just been going off of basically my cash flow as far as finding out what my profit is. Alright, so there we go. We got those in a different color, so I'll come down here and hit add same part in a different color to my inventory. Then I'll select the color. These are flat silver it looks like. There's in compartments, it's going to be the same thing, OG17. There are three of those. And the price guide, oh, wrong section. 12 cents each. And add those. Yeah, and so the add this part in a different color, that comes in handy a lot. And then what I'm gonna do to get to the next one, is I'm just gonna go to my inventory hit the part ID number, then come over here to the similar mold types, and hit the flat end, add to my inventory, color, dark brown. We're gonna go on the same one because I can tell the difference. I got five of those and they look to be in pretty good shape. Those are 13 cents each. Goes that. Then go here, hit that part number. Rubble, flexible rubber. Never mind. It's an, apparently not that one because it doesn't say that piece was ever made in reddish brown. So I guess it's just over here. Let me do the reddish brown. Oops, 
add to my inventory. Reddish brown, quantity one. It's gonna go in OG17. And 18 cents each. Yeah, it's kind of funny because I could have sworn this was the flexible kind because it doesn't look quite like the other pieces. But it says it never came in that color and the flexible type, so I'm just going to go with it. Let's see it. Some of these pieces I might not get added in tonight. I kind of don't really want to work on all these things. <laughs> but actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and add those to my store. I just stopped for a bit. Well, actually, it's a different day now, but um, these are a few pieces that I found while I was adding parts to my store last night that I'm not going to add because I got chewed up. This one's really bad. This one, it's mostly just dirty, but it's kind of chewed up as well. This one's just got a couple nicks and things to it, but I'll probably end up giving some of those to my niece and nephew just because they're not going to care too much about a couple nicks to play with them, but I'm not going to list them in my store. I've gotten all the pieces in. These are two pieces that I could not find. I'm not sure if they're not Lego or I'm just not very good at finding some of these pieces. Um, this axe I could not find anywhere and I'm thinking it might just not be Lego this one I'm sure I've seen in sets I just cannot find what it's listed under so if you guys know what that piece is called go ahead and let me know in the comments and these are pieces that are very blurry there you go, that are a little chewed up more than I wanted to deal with you can see all those scratches on the broom handles this one I'm just going to keep for my collection because I don't have one of those in my private collection yet. Um, and then you can just see how yellowed and scratched up that piece is. But I think those pieces will probably end up going to my my nephews. Well, my, my niece and my nephew and see if they want them. And uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and try and part out this set. i got a couple hours that... I can work up here still, so I'm going to see if I can get a couple of things parted out, maybe. This is three copies of um, set 31709 J and Lloyd's Velocity Racers. I know my part out methods are a little bit uh, imperfect. End up in their own drawers. Some parts are going to be sharing drawers. Some I'm going to sort out a little bit more when I put them in the drawers these minifigure accessories there those won't all go in one drawer but yeah just doing it this way to get all the parts broken down into pieces that are easy enough to get in my inventory and I'll do that next all right and this is the last drawer put away my uh, total part out value including I, I included one each of the minifigures built and just parted out the other two of each and so including those my total part out value looks to be hundred and eighty dollars and a couple cents so just over hundred and eighty dollars and go ahead and go over here and put that last drawer in there and that's all for tonight so until next time y'all have a good one